With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question is, A can hit a target 4 times out of 5 trial, B can hit a target 3 times out of 4 trial, C can hit a target 2 times out of 3 trials. If all 3 hit the target simultaneously, find the probability of hitting the target. Okay, so here it is said that 3 of the people, let's say A, B, C, R, P, 3 people, 3 person, okay, 3 person are hitting a target. Okay, so it is given that probability, let's say, probability of success, probability of S, uh, of, okay, probability of success of A, that means A can hit the target will be equals to A hits 4 times out of 5, that means it will be 4 by 5, favorable case divided by total case. Similarly, probability of success success of b will be equals to what b hits 3 times out of 4 3 by 4 similarly probability of success of c probability of success of c will be equals to what it will be 2 divided by 3 because 2 times hit out of 3 trials so we have find out the probability of success of a probability of success of b and success of c now if we find the probability of failure probability of failure of a which will be equals to what a can't hit one time out of five trials a hits four times that means a miss one time a misses one time so it will be one by five similarly for b it will be probability of failure probability of failure of b will be equals to what three times out of four it can b can hit so out of uh, one times out of four can't hit similarly probability of failure of failure of c will be equals to C can hit two times out of three. That means C can't hit one times out of three. Okay, one time out of three. So here we have found out these probabilities. Now what we have to find? We have to find out the probability of hitting the target. Okay, that means at least one of them have to hit the target. That means if we find out that no one could hit the target and minus it and subtract it from one, that means we are subtracting the probability we don't want from the total probability that means we have to find out the probability of hitting the target if we subtract the probability of not hitting the target from one we can easily get the probability of hitting the target okay so uh, from here you can write that therefore probability of hitting probability of hitting the target hitting the target probability of hitting the target will be equals to what one minus probability of not hitting the target not hitting the target okay if we subtract from total probability the probability of not hitting the target we can get the probability of hitting the target okay so it will be equals to what one minus probability of failure of failure of a intersection okay probability of failure of failure failure of b intersection failure of failure of c that means we have taken we have taken that uh, a fails and b fails and c fails all of them fails so it will be 1 minus 1 minus it will be equal to 1 minus probability of failure of a in, uh, intersection probability of failure of b and intersection failure of c here we are uh, applying intersection as the as the events are occurring simultaneously that means one doesn't depend of uh, over another so we can say it will be the intersection will be multiplied that means the probabilities will be multiplied okay so it will be 1 minus probability of failure of a multiplied by probability of failure of b multiplied by probability of failure of c so we'll substitute the values it will be 1 minus probability of failure of a is 1 by 5 multiplied failure of b is 1 by 4 multiplied failure of c is 1 by 3 okay which will be equals to 1 minus this value will be 1 by 60 so it will be equals to if we take the LCM, it will be 60 in the denominator and numerator will be 60 minus 1, which will be equal to 59 divided by 60. So this is the probability of hitting the target. So this is the required solution of this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.